Okay, in this lesson we're going to do a quick review. This will be a short one. We're going to do a quick review for TCAP skills. I uh, want to talk about latitude, longitude, and parts of a map, and also directions, cardinal, and intermediate. Okay, the first thing I want to review with you, this is uh, latitude and longitude. Uh, if you remember latitude, I told you guys in class that latitude are, um, are the lines that have an attitude. They're always laying down, okay? The best definition for lines of latitude is that they are horizontal or parallel lines that run across a map. So if this were our map and we were looking at it trying to find the latitude lines, these are going to be the lines that run straight across like this all up and down the map or if we have a globe you're going to see those lines run parallel now parallel I like to think of like a train track um, you never want those tracks to cross each other if you do then your train is going to crash so parallel lines are those lines that run straight across from each other and they never touch okay that's the lines that are going this way uh, left or right on this map that I've drawn for you Longitude lines are the vertical or meridians, they're often called. These are lines that like to stand up. Uh, I told you the story about a former student of mine that um, explained to the class that lines of latitude have an attitude. They're always laying down. Lines of longitude are like a fence post. They're always standing straight up. Okay, So for me, that was the easy way to remember this. Is latitude lines have an attitude. They always lay down. Longitude lines are like a fence post. They're always standing straight up. Now, I have identified for you on this map the longitude lines are these that are in blue. If you can see this, it's in blue. They go straight up and down. Latitude lines are straight across. So it makes kind of like a grid, if you will. Uh, if In math class, you use grid paper. Uh, the latitude lines are those lines that go straight across your paper. Uh, longitude lines are those lines that go up and down on your paper. And where they meet, it makes a perfect square. Okay, Those are latitude and longitude. And we'll talk more about it in class. Now, uh, parts of a map, we're going to look at this just briefly. First of all, uh, every map should have a title. I have identified this as a map of an island I made up uh, called Bird Island. Here's the title of it so we know what we're talking about. Uh, maps have a title that tells you what the map is about. They have to have a legend. Now this is sometimes called a map key. Uh, it's found in the corner usually of the map and it has all the different symbols that you see on the map are going to be uh, listed in the legend and this helps us identify and, and uh, learn what each symbol means. Now in my example, I, I'm not sure you can see it real well, but I drew a little house that's going to be my house. Uh, there's a cross there that represents a church, and a dot will represent a city. Now, maps can have different symbols, but you always look in the legend to figure out what a symbol means. Okay? Maps are also going to have a scale. A scale helps us to measure distances. Okay? Uh, we have KM and M. Here's our uh, map scale. Uh, these are usually identified uh, on the bottom part of your map. It helps you to uh, measure out distance. Uh, KM stands for kilometer, and M stands for mile. Okay? And in America, we use miles. In Europe and other countries like that, they use kilometers. So you'll, you'll hear the difference, or you'll see differences there. All right, so maps go help us measure distances on a map. Okay? Uh, so like, for example, if an inch on this map... Uh, that's going to equal 300 miles. Uh, if it's about an inch and a half or so, roughly guessing, that's going to be 600 miles. Okay, So map scales help us identify distance. And we've worked on this in class, how to measure. A compass rose is the next important uh, item that's found on a map. A compass rose helps us find directions. It helps us to identify north, south, east, and west. You've got to have a compass rose on your map. It's probably one of the most important uh, features to be found on a map because it helps us to see where north is, south, east, and west. Okay. Now, let's talk about the next part, 
that it's very important for us to remember. Our directions. We have uh, cardinal directions, which are north and south, east and west. Uh, somebody told me one time, it's never eat soggy worms. Uh, whatever works for you to help you remember, it's north, south, east, and west. These are cardinal directions. Now your intermediate directions, these are identified on a map. Uh, they're called the points located halfway between the cardinal directions. Okay, so for example, on here in red, I have north, south, east, and west. Well, we need to talk about the spaces in between. What are these called? Well, if it's in this part up here, obviously that's between north and east. We call that northeast. If it's between the south and the east on the uh, compass rows, we call that southeast. If it's between the west and the south, we call that southwest. If it's located up here between north and the west, you guessed it. We call that Northwest. Okay, now that was just a short little review uh, to go back over with you. We talked about uh, latitude and longitude. We talked about uh, the parts of a map. And also I reviewed with you quickly about the cardinal directions and intermediate directions. Cardinal directions are north, south, east, and west. Intermediate directions are the points in between north, south, east, and west. Uh, those are northeast, southeast, southwest, northwest. Okay, I hope those help you uh, remember some things that are going to be on the TCAP. Uh, we're going to be doing some practice in class to help us prepare for this. Uh, but as always, you can go back and watch this again if you have questions or maybe uh, you missed something that we talked about. Have a great day. Thank you.